Hey Legionnaires and welcome back. We're here with another Siege as it is Siege Week of course and we have another Rome 2 battle for you today. It's a 2v2. We have the Swaby and the Arverni uh, attacking against Bactria and Armenia. Some unlikely factions that we don't usually see. Swaby and Armenia being two that we don't often see on the uh, Siege battlefield. But they are here today. We're just looking at the Swaby as they come by. I am told that this is a very very close uh siege um this is my first time watching it so i hope that it well turns out to be true and um so we have the swaby attacking bactria over here and then we have armenia facing down against the arverni so it'll be uh, interesting to see um whether the arverni can hold them back uh, not the arverni um armenia can hold back the arverni because i mean i wouldn't say armenia is one of the strongest factions personally i don't see any attraction to ever playing them but um Clearly this player does, so, I mean, we'll see what happens. It was sent in, this uh, video was sent in by Aiden, who is uh, on the Discord, through the Discord. He's playing as Bactria, so if you want to, well, send vids in for me to have a look at, and uh, then possibly use on the channel, then don't forget to join the Papal Legion Discord down below. Um, yeah, basically that's all I've got to say. Just thank you for the, all the support in the past few videos, all the likes, comments, and subscribes. And uh, yeah, keep it up, guys. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, definitely recommend doing so. Um, see all these great sieges, all these great sieges. Okay, it looks like the back trees that uh, R3 was aiming at the, the siege. I would have carried on taking it out. You were really close to taking it out. 40%. Hopefully, you will. He might. I mean, he's getting very, very close to the uh, walls yet. Yeah, here he goes. Oh, he's missed. How did he miss at that range? Oh, dear. Um, not so good, but I mean, what's going up first? And it looks like it's going to be a load of sword masters. These are heavy melee. Um, he's not got much on the walls. He's got some thorax swords, and he's got another unit of thorax swords here. He's just going to hold these choke points and, I guess, use his um, archers to basically fire down on all these sword masters. I'm not quite sure what's happening with the rest of the Swaby's army. Um, it's kind of all just sat back here, which I guess is okay. I mean, it looks like he's the uh, artillery's going for the general. It's not being too successful uh, in hitting anything there, but here we go. It looks like... Actually, we'll, we'll quickly have a look at what's going over here. Armini looks like he's going to not... Well, he's defending the gate, and he's actually sallied out. Okay, so he's got some uh, Cartley Axemen facing down some Chosen Swords. I imagine... Well, it's actually... They're both heavy melee, so they should do okay. Um, I'd say the Cartley Swords... Uh, axes, sorry, will probably win this because they have the support of the Arch Towers. So this isn't a bad idea, but he is leaving himself a bit... Um, I guess undefended up on these walls. Uh, Arvani has not sent anything. Well, he's not sent anything up. Arvani has now got siege towers on the wall over here. Uh, he has got these areas defending down below. He's not got any archers nearby. It would seem he's got one unit of uh, elite Persian archers here. We need to possibly get some more archers just near the wall to support. Possibly, maybe focus down some units to come in. But the Swaby has also just landed, so we have our first clash of in of troops on the walls. Um, I imagine that the Thorax Swords will probably get overwhelmed. They're being attacked from both sides. They're going to need some archer support here. Um, it looks like they are getting some, but quite a lot of the arrows that seem to be hitting down here, down below. There's already the Swabia coming down the walls. That's huge. Are they breaking already? No, they're not broken at all. There is 65 strength already. Not so good. But the sword masters are already off the wall. That's some... Yep, that's brutal. A few of them getting shot in the back for their... Cowardice. And here they go. They're going in now. And these archers have already been dealt with. I mean, I don't think they'll take out the entire unit. I don't know. Mm, maybe. This entire unit looks like it's going to get off the wall. It's kind of pulling through, in fairness. It's kind of like what he's doing is pulling through, but it's... Yeah, I'd say it's sort of like pulling through. But it's a bit cheesy, but it's not the end of the world. It's not awful. I mean, he's doing well over here. Is this way? But he's going to mop up this unit as well. With thorax swords. I just wouldn't bother putting thorax swords up here. Just put them at the bottom of the uh, steps because now you're just going to lose two units of swords for nothing, really. Your archers are going to got some kills, but they haven't even gone below a hundred yet of these the strength of these units. So it's not really worth it. Brave Germanic warriors cutting down Greeks. They've never seen these men before, these types of men. They're like, who are these men that speak weird languages and have fancy armor and helmets? 
All we need is some paint and some war cries, and we'll be fine. Yeah, it looks like the Gre uh, thorax swords over there are just breaking. We're just yep, yeah, they're breaking at 48. Oh, wrong side. Arvani, I want to now look at. I want to see how, if they're doing anything with Armenia. They're quite happy just to take it a bit more slower, it seems. They're going to just stand up here. They're going to javi everything. They've killed about 10 Cartley Axemen already. They are now just coming down. Uh, chosen Swords just coming off the walls. And the Cartley so Axemen, sorry, are going to mop them up, you'd hope. Um, they have actually won that first fight, the Car Cartley Axemen. Um, they routed that Chosen Swordsman. Yeah, that's really good. Now he's having to send in Oaths one already. Um, I think the... Towers, yeah, be nullified. They're not shooting at neither side, so these chosen, uh, no, these oath ones, sorry, will mop up these uh, uh, Cartley axes. I keep wanting to call them Cartley swords. I don't know why. I have no swords on them at all. Hold the banner high, the bird banner. Hold it high. As we fight these eastern men. I mean, yeah, you could just mop these guys up quite nicely. Now, I just surround these guys with those one and then just mop this unit up. Save lives and prolong melee here. I mean, they've not lost many. They've lost three men. It's not that bad. I certainly get these men off the walls, though. Um, if I was the uh, Arvani player, I'd certainly want to try and get these men off the wall. I'd really be making a push over here. This is a, like, he's only got one unit of Cartley Axeman holding here. And after that, it's, uh, well... Just free real estate, really, isn't it? You just carry on going down here, and uh, you take them all out. That is what you really need to do. Like over here, I mean, Carly certainly holding on the walls. That's great, but he needs to get archers up here. Like he's got a unit of archers here. That's fine. Just put them like directly here. He's not got. I don't know where Arvani's archers are. He's probably brought Gaelic hunters, I imagine. So I imagine they're hidden. Um, but yeah, he's holding them well in place. That's great. He just needs to. Uh, Get some archers up, but this is going to be a concern now. He's got the the uh, gates about to be destroyed, so he needs to get one of these units. He's like got two units of axemen here, no real need for them. And here we go, the gates are gone, and it's some oaths one are now just going to be able to get on through. And he's going to be in real trouble here. Carly is uh, not Carly. Armenia is already probably overstretched a little bit. He's got a lot of reserves. He has a lot of reserves. I mean, so does Bactria actually have a lot of reserves, and he has cavalry back here. Should get this cavalry outside and try and do some damage with it. Um, it would really, really help. He's got his ballista back here as well, which I presume has got all its ammo left. But yep, yeah, here you go. Oathsworn now just coming on through. March on through. Don't mind us. We're just doing our thing. Yep, we're just going to take this city. That's what they're thinking. And now they can surround either of these flanks. I don't think there's any... anyone coming to their aid. Uh, I mean, yeah, there's this unit over here, actually. These axemen. But this is just too little too late. They're going to get this unit in, surround them. This unit's going to get in. And then all of that's just going to stream on in now. I mean, I mean that won't get in before... Uh, all those forces back there won't get in before uh, the Cartley Axemen arrive. And th but there's two units of those spawning in now. That's not so good. And here we go. They're going to just hold these guys in place. Yeah, they actually, they could hold these guys in place. And you're going to get the rest of the army in now. The Arvani have done really, really well here. Armenia is in a lot of trouble. Chop them all up. Hack them down. Excellent. But I mean, you won't give up without a fight, I'm sure. I mean, what he needs to do now is get some archers. Start focusing these guys down in the back. Oh, cavalry. Not a bad idea. Could get a, certainly a good charge here. These oath sworn. Here it comes. That's not bad. That's not bad. And the general's gone into the other side. That's not a bad response. I don't know how many kills he got with that. Not many. Um... He's going to go for it again, it would seem. Oh, these Azat Knights, okay. They're pretty damn da dangerous, but he's going to get more guys in. It's just, it's not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough right now, just to ca constant cavalry tra charge. Ugh. Over here, um, the Swabia are being dealt with, I'd say. They, they're being held back at the moment. They're losing, I don't know how many men they've sent off the walls. Don't think they've lost too much. Oh, there's a fight over here, though. There is... A nice sneaky little flank that they tried over here. And it's now being uh, filled in with some Thorax Swords. These sword masters, you know, they're not bad. They'll hold their own. I interested I actually didn't see what like their roster was as this way. Did they bring any berserkers? That's what I want to know. 
Of course, they brought the berserkers, the angry men with their, uh, well, what are they, bear, bear coats, yeah? Yeah, bear coats. Yes, excellent. We'll have some of them. We'll have a bit of fighting from the berserkers soon, I'm sure. They're basically like uh, elephants. Um, but Bactria has got cab over here. Bactria's got two units of noble horse. Um, I'm sure that you could take out most of these units. Berserkers, they're great and all, but they haven't got much armor. So it would actually be a bad idea to probably send them in. I imagine the horses may die to them, but it's fully worth it. Swaby seems to be sending his entire army just to scare off the Bactrians. I just wouldn't bother with his Bactrian. Just leave him there. No need to worry about that. He's not going to send all his army out here to go and chase down two horsemen. Um, the Swordmaster's actually winning this fight uh, against the uh, Thorax Swords. Not quite sure how. I'm, the Thorax Swords probably should be in Shield Wall. I don't know if they are, but... This is worrying then. If like Thorax swords are like the best unit that, um, best melee unit that uh, Bactria can really bring, and the Swordmasters are definitely not the best unit that um, Swaby can bring. So that's a bit concerning. I hopefully they got pikes. Um, Bactria's brought pikes. He has actually got Thorax pikes back here. Back here, he probably wants to save them for late game, or maybe I don't know. He certainly wants to save some stuff. It looks like Bactria is sending over stuff to help with uh, Armenia's situation because it is not looking good. Armenia is in a bad situation here. And he's sending more troops in. This is not good. Don't bother sending more noble... Don't bother sending noble spears in. We might as well save them for a final um, defense because you're going to need all the help you can get. But Bactria is sending back stuff already. This is a concerning sign. It looks like they're going to make a quick and early defense of here. Not good. Not what we want to see, really. But, I mean, it's kind of been forced upon them. Because look at Armini. He's got so much stuff inside. And archers now having to go in the fight. I don't know if they're out of ammo. Um, but these elite Persian archers, they'll just get mopped up by the Zosworn. This is easy kills for them. Easy. These guys are great against uh, horses because they do have spears. They'll do okay. But Zosworn, they don't care about spears. They'll chop you down anyway. They've got big shields that'll help, help them out. And yeah, now they're sending in... They're sending in everything from... Uh, like, that was in this fight over here. To try and deal with these Oathsworn. i just sacrifice one of the units. i will probably sacrifice the Cartley Axe and try and surround... And save these uh, noblemen. But that's not going to happen now. They're surrounded. Even if it's a small unit of chosen... Uh, chosen swordsmen. That's still enough. And they've got more anyway. I mean, look at this fight up here on the walls. Excellent. This is where they need to... Get more troops out. Where can they get troops out? They probably need to get these uh, archers out. They can be held in because these Oathsworn. I mean, they're oh, they are losing that fight. They might be able to kill that unit off. Yeah, they are actually going to kill that unit off, and they might get that one as well. Very tired. I'd certainly like with these swords now. Get them, and then just run these archers all the way back down to the nearest where you can get out and save them. Save them, because you're going to need every arrow you can get. And there you go, they've won this fight as well. Okay, these Kali Axes need to also get out of here. You need to get out and back to, well, the next line of defense. I don't know where that is. It is looking like it's going to be these steps here, which are being held by the Noble Spears. Bactria's already pulling back his uh, archers. He's looking like he's pulling back everything. Bactria is in full retreat. Um, he's just not happy with the amount of troops that are being lost against Swaby. And Swaby's probably actually getting in basically... Un well, both attackers, I think, are basically untouched at this point. It is going to be close. Because now they've got basically to assault a lot of uh, defenders in here. I'd say this is all. This is going to be pretty tough for the attackers. Because they've got a lot of reserves. Hopefully they've got a lot of ammo left. I think the Swaby basically used none of their ammo up. They have their longbow hunters in reserve. Basically doing nothing. I think they may fired one or two volleys. Um, I'm not... I'm yet to see... Ah, here we go. I was about to say, yet to see Arvani's uh, archers, but he's got Gallic Hunters as expected, um, which can stay hidden for a very long time. But yeah, he's basically used up none of his ammo as well. So these guys should be okay. Armenia sending his general out. I would probably just save the general and send a small unit of Cappadocians out to go and harass people, but... Yeah, Bactria's got to start sending his cavern soon to do something, because otherwise it's just a waste. It's really not worth it. He sent one of them back, uh, but this one looks like it's going to go in for attack. Try and take out some of these archers. If you can get these archers before they go up the wall, 
that's really good because then they'll have to be forced off the wall. This unit here, especially, try and get this one. Um, because these guys are queuing up, waiting for these uh, sword masters to sort themselves out. What have we got here? Oh, just some Thorax swords. Oh, poor Thorax swords. They're so scared they don't know what to do. No! What's he doing? Why did he do that? He could have definitely got some of these guys as they went up the wall. Like, this, these units over here, these guys are never going to get up the wall, into, uh, onto the wall in time. A wasted opportunity for Bactria there. Certainly could have uh, done with attacking those guys. And they, I think they would have, if they get attacked them while they're on the tower, they're forced to come off the tower. So it's almost suicide. The unit goes into suicide mode. This is not good though. Oh, wait a minute. I thought this was bad, but uh, strangely, for some reason, I was thinking the Armenians attacking. But no, I was about to say these pikes are about to get run down, but no, they're not. And I'm going to speed it up. I'm going to just fast forward because there's not much happening. Um, it looks like Armenia and Bactria are just going to fall back. And it looks like the Arvani is quite happy to let them. Swaby just slowly marching through the city. And we're going to see what happens there. Hopefully, well, something soon. It would be nice for your guys' entertainment. So, I'll quickly just fast forward. If anything happens anytime soon, um, that'll be great. Doesn't look like it. So, I'm going to make a small cut. And I will see you guys in a moment um, when the action restarts. So, here we go. It's the first engagement. It was a little cut. Uh, well, it's a bit more than a little cut. But... Here we go, Arvani is sending in first troops, it looks like it's going to be some Oath Sworn going in to deal with, uh, well, some Noble Spears. I mean, I don't think these guys will, uh, well, they'll hold for a little while, they're Noble Spears, but I mean, that's a lot of Oath Sworn going in here. There's one unit, and then there's, well, yeah, actually losing decisively already, jeez, yeah, that's not a good sign. They're going to need to bulk this already up, this is a concern. Like, they're losing quite quickly. And the Gallic Hunters at the back here are, uh, Already firing on basically any archer that comes out here to, like, fight them back. That's the problem, that the defenders don't have as much ammo as, uh, well, as the attackers. Because I don't think the attackers used any of theirs up. They really just used their might to get through. So, we'll qu have a enjoy in watching this. I think that the, well, they're clearly aware of Armenia's cavalry over here is that the Arvani. They've got their spear nobles ready to block them off. Um, and... A Bactria's done the same over here. He has elephants and he has Bactria Noble Horse ready. I don't really know what they're going to do with them, though. That's the thing. They brought all this cavalry and, like, elephants and stuff like that, but it's going to be interesting to see what they do with it. I would have brought more in. I would have brought more, uh... Oh, no, this is not okay. Pulling through, this is not... That's not okay. That's not okay. We just saw that on camera. Who the Arvani player is... I'm sorry, that was not that was not okay. But um, yeah, these poor noble spears now are going to die because of that. Um, but it looks like they're sending up some more Carly axemen. They'll they'll hold the line for a bit. Um, but yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what they can do with them. I would have probably bought more solid infantry, like maybe like like certainly brought more like Bactrian Royal uh, hoplites or whatever the Royal Guards. Sorry, not hoplites. Um, instead of the elephants. Because elephants are just so temperamental, and they've got so much ammo left of the uh, attackers. Obviously, they can't tell how much ammo they're going to use of the attackers, but... Um, like, they're so temperamental, and they can often end up in just being causing more chaos than they do good. Just watches these two sides clap, battle it out. Are they fighting on the other side now as well? They are indeed. Who is coming up here? Is it the Swaby? Yes, yeah, Swaby is uh, coming over here. Sword masters mopping up these noble sword, uh, spears as well. Clearly, they just these noble spears are just not good enough. Uh, Cartly axes are clearly just a, a better buy. See how they these guys do. We've not seen the Cartly axemen uh, fight against the uh, noble spears yet. And it's noble noble spears, sword masters. I do apologise. Mixing up my armies. And they're pulling back. They don't want to fight them there, it seems. Um, are they already going to fall back to this final choke point, I wonder? It looks like they might do. Bactrian Royal Guard here. More Bactrian Royal Guard. There's a lot of Bactrian stuff left. Armenia seems almost all spent. Is uh, Ballista is certainly in a poor spot. It's not going to be able to do much from there. I don't think it was ever going to be in a good spot. I should have just put it on the walls to just shoot against uh, Armenia. Not Armenia. Um... Arverni. But here we go, yep, so this Carly uh, Axeman unit, they're going to get trapped and killed, but it looks like Royal Guard going in. 
So far, it doesn't look like it's going to be very close, but they now only have to hold one choke point against all these attackers. Whether they can do it is a different story. Look like they're already sending in more backroom Royal Guard. These guys should hold the line for a long time. Oh, he's pulling them out. He's gonna, they're going to send in some Cartley Axemen instead. Probably a better idea. Need some swords in there to so support these uh, spears. It might be an idea to send some troops around the other side. I know they've got cavalry here, but send the spears up, send some um, swords behind. Like, Swaby could probably deal with this side on his own. Like, if you attack both sides, you're actually then... Well, obviously then they're committing more troops to different flank, uh, to another flank, and you've got a better chance of getting through. Like, all that's left really is Bactria. Actually, I mean... Well, I say all that's left is Bactria. I mean, Armenian does have his general and some cavalry and archers, which I think he has... Which him and Bactria are really lacking right now, but... Yeah, I would just save ammo as well. I'd be trying to focus down generals and berserk units when they arrive. Like, I would not bother wasting every bit of ammo you have right now. I mean, this is a big blob. In fairness, this is a fairly big blob that's going on here. And you are weakening some units, but... There's a whole nother blob back here that's yet to come in. Those Swabies looking a bit low on the ground as well. He doesn't have many fresh units. Berserkers are even beaten up a bit. Not sure how that's happened. But this is certainly a, a good move. He could certainly... I mean, he could certainly try and sneak around here and he could probably get an attack on these archers and get out the other side before anyone does anything. Might be an idea. If he takes it slowly. Yeah, certainly if they send in all the cavalry. That will be a huge thing. So maybe, we'll have to keep an eye on that. I'll keep my eye on that. As this fight in the uh, choke point carries on. They are losing decisively with these sword masters. And they have the arch tower support. Uh, does Bactria, which is huge. That's just going to constantly chip away at all these armies. That might be the decider is his arch tower. Because you've got to get all the way here to start capping it. What's going up now? Thorax pikes already. Wow. Already sending the pikes up. To be fair though, they are pretty low on men here. It's Bactria and Royal Guard basically holding. These Carly Axemen are getting outmatched by the Swordmasters. Pike certainly going in would be a good idea, but maybe a little early. I mean, there's, they've got a lot of ammo left, I imagine, the attackers. Any movement from the Cav? None so far. Still a lot of uh, reserves for the attackers, so this is going to be an interesting one. Yep, they won that fight there. They could sneak through. I, If I was... Goal. This is not. This would not be pulling through in my eye. Uh, the Arverni, if they pull through here, well, they're not pulling through, but they could definitely get through there. There's a gap there. These guys can get rounds. I think most of the units going to get trapped in combat here. Yeah, but they are almost in. I certainly get this unit here to get in column formation, try and sneak through. I don't. Know, where are those pikemen? Uh, they need to get up there soon. What else have they got back here? Thorax Pikes, Bactrian Royal Guard. Here they go. I'm, as I called it, they're going in column formation and they snuck through. Very nice. Couple of units of chosen swords. And they're going to get dealt with by some Bactrian Royal Guard, it would seem. Ah, excellent. But I mean, as they send up more troops, I don't know where I've. Oh, Armenia. Where's he send his cav? It's not gone and died, has it? Oh, no. It's got all the way back around here. He's capping this. Seems a bit of a waste. Um, but can it? I don't even think it can reach. But he's going to go for a general snipe. The general is made up of a swordmaster's unit. Don't know if this would really pay off. Don't know if I. I don't think Swaby's paying attention either. No, I don't think he is. Not a bad charge. A rear charge. Um. The rest of the cavalry didn't really make it in. But here we go. He's going to have seen that. He's going to turn around. He's going to go a headhunt. That's going to mop up any uh, arch, well, any cavalry over there. Bactria really should have sent it in his cavalry and probably started doing some damage as well. Like, I mean, all they need to do is wait for this Oathsworn unit to go up. They could probably actually plow through this Oathsworn unit. And then you're into the archers. And that's really where you need to start doing stuff. Armini did very well. Got his cavalry out. Only lost a couple of guys. 
But I mean, now I go around, yeah. If I was Armenia, start going around, send the archers around. But I mean, look at the amount of stuff they're sending up now. They are, you really should just start committing a lot more stuff into this breach. I mean, what's now going in? Thorax swords, they're pretty beaten up. There's Bactrian Royal Guard in here. They should hold for a while. You don't want to send too much in yet because archers are just focusing down. But here we go. It looks like Mercy Cappadocians. Just hold them up here yet. Yeah, hold, attack this unit, and then the general can go in and get all these archers. That's not a bad charge either. The general needs to get on by though. Just get past, get past. Oh no, 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 not so good. I'm not sure what army you plan to do here. He needed to wait in just a little longer. Need to be a little bit more patient, I think. Like they sent so much stuff up here now. Like look at all this. This is just free kills for the arch tower. Just slowly, just shoot these guys down. Because now you're going... Yeah, the general's now dead. I mean, in fairness, he's not got much left. He's got archers and that's it. He, all his infantry's gone. Um, it is down to Bactria. Bactria, I'd be patient now. You've got to wait. Because otherwise they... Because they can just send in everything otherwise. Because keeping these guys just lured ar like around, you now they've got to commit swords and stuff just to watch um, these cavalry. Otherwise, these archers are doomed. Balance of power, it's, there's still hope. Um, maybe a fool's hope, but here we go. Another column of Oathsworn now going through. They will certainly get through with no problem. Um, they're going to need to send up another unit here. I don't know why they haven't sent in any pikes yet. Pikes definitely are needed. Um, they'll rack up kills. Oh my gosh. I'm just. I'm not even going to look at the archers. I'm just watching this unit just march on through. Oh my gosh. That poor man in the corner there. Yep. Yeah. And they're going to surround. That's probably... Thorax Swords going in, not a bad idea. Now, f yeah, surround these guys. Get the pikes in. Yep, yeah, Thorax Pikes, get them in. Start poking them. Luckily, they have some ammo left on these Leap Persian Archers. This is a good target as well. All this, this is a big blob. Don't know why you're shooting down here. You really should just focus on this. Just get your men back behind, like, the wall. Start shooting that. More breaking here, though. Thorax Swords breaking. Not good. Not good. More Thorax Swords being sent in. How much reserves has he got? That's it, really. There's un this unit of Thorax Pikes. Now I'd start sending stuff around. I know that they obviously don't know that they ha that's it. That's all they've got. But it could be a time. And it looks like the cab's going to... Oh, no. I thought the cab was going to go in. But he's thought better of it. Smart. He's got this unit of Berserkers here just ready and waiting. Certainly time to... He needs to split up the cavalry. Because it... One big blob of cavalry, easy to follow. I know he's done it with the elephants. The elephants have been kept in reserve, smart. Um, but I mean, this cavalry needs to split it up. Maybe just keep one here, then he can send the other one round. That means it's costing two units of swords to watch them. But I mean, this Arvani unit's now gone. That's basically like being wasted. I mean, not wasted, it's done some damage. These Thorax swords here are almost dead from the fight. And it's brought and it's lured the pikes in for the archers to shoot. But oh, it looks like these guys are out of ammo. These elite, per elite Persian archers—they're going to probably get thrown into the fray next. But they really need to take out these archers. This is major problem. Here we go, Indian war elephants. It looks like they're going to be mobilised. It's a good target as well. No um, swords in sight. Oh yeah, this is not a bad idea. Not a bad idea at all. I'm just going to just wait, watch. Surely these guys can see them. I'd send them in now. Send them in. Send the uh, send the uh, Indian war elephants in. And when they get lured over, send the cavalry in the other side. It's got to happen now. Now it's got to happen. Look at the bulk up. Here we go. The order's been given. Surely the order's been given. They're, they're firing. No. He's going to see them and he's going to start shooting. Thank God. Thank God they're moving. Right. Here we go. Here we go. Elephants are just necessary now in these sieges. After yesterday's elephants, I'm expecting big things. Here we go. Oh my gosh, they found more. Oh my gosh, they're going to munch these guys. Gobble them up. Easy kills. Now the cavalry needs to go on the other side. Yeah, it's already gone in. Excellent, right? Now the elephants can cause havoc. This is it. Look at that. Look at that. That is disgusting. And they, they'll probably route most of this stuff as well. These, um... Swordmasters down here, I don't think they could beat these uh, elephants. 
If they had the armoured ones as well, geez, that would be even more devastating. They would be... They would be having the time of their life. There we go, the cavalry's done. Cavalry needs to hold up this uh, unit of those one now. It just needs to sacrifice itself. Or it needs to just like, yeah, actually no, charge into them. Better idea. Oh, that's not a bad charge at all. But, I mean, you just got to hold up time for this elephant. Just got to do damage to these, uh, to the general. The elephants are already dying. That's the problem. They are actually losing slightly. They probably are better to get out of combat and go for another charge. Go and charge and take out the, uh, Oswan general. Better idea. A better idea. Take out this general. Arvani's got so many more troops than Swaby left. I don't know. It's actually quite close on how many men they've got left. But, yeah, another charge needed. Elephants, turn around charge. No, they're going to chase him up the hill. Okay. Brilliant. But, I mean, this is a brutal fight here. I mean, this is de definitely turning into the close battle it turned out to be. I mean, the all those archers gone. And another great charge here from Bactria. That is just sandwiched, these guys. But hardly any of the Oswan are dead. They need to send the elephants in. Oh, that's actually excellent. Okay, so he's caught the general here with the elephants. Swaby may be in trouble here. Swaby may be in trouble. I can't... And the camera's being annoying because we're on the stairs. Are they breaking? No. He's trying to pull out. It's not going to end well. Now he's going into the fight here against the Oathsworn. Oh, no. That elephant just died on impact. How many has he lost now? He's lost two. He needs to kill one of these generals and quick. Like, these elephants are... They've done great. But their their shock... The shock effect of them being here is uh, not going to last long because, I mean, they know that they're here now. I mean, they ha the good thing is that the pikes are now basically safe um, because the archers are all dead. There's only one unit of longbows left. That's it. Um, this is real. Oh, the Oswan, yeah, in real trouble here now. They need to... Come on, kill one of these units. I beg. The just watching elephants is so fun. Yes, we'll just knock you over like your ants to us, which they basically are. Men are just ants to elephants. Majestic creatures. Used for war. It's not looking good here, but I mean, you can definitely, an again, another um, column can be done. I mean, they're basically in here. I don't know what's holding them up. Nothing. It's just pikes. They're just standing here, quite happy. They're going to have to just pi go pile through these pikes. Oh my god, they g they've actually just got through as well. What's left? The general needs to go up. I don't know if the general's... Yeah, send the general in. Baxter's got to just commit all... It's all or nothing now. Because these pikes are breaking. Oh, yeah. This is... I think it's going to be GG. Unless these elephants can really get in here and they can start do, causing... They need to, like, kill a general in soon. They need to contain all this stuff. They, I don't know why Baxter's general's not being committed. Really needs to commit his general. They need every unit of infantry up here. And that general will hold for a while. Pikes... Oh, I don't know what they're doing. Oh, they are pulling back. That's okay. Where's the elephants? Oh, the berserkers are going berserk. It's all happening now. Elephants are berserk. I don't think they've got a general, though, have they? Oh, no! Oathsworn um, general's dead here for Arvani. That is huge. Okay, and... And the uh, Swaby general is dead. Okay. Okay, there is hope for the defenders. They're going to need a fool's hope. A lot of it. But, I mean, they've got some good cav. They need to just do some hammer and anvils. There's pikes. need to hold. The goddamn general over here needs to be sent up. Why has he not been sent up? Bactria, send your general up, man. He he's needed in here. I know you're microing with your cavalry, but, I mean, send your general in. Elephants. Oh, my gosh. This is not good. I think, I think the attackers have it. I think they have it. So close, so hard to tell. It would be very much more, like, closer if the general for Bactria would actually get a move on. Get himself in here. Don't know why he's not done it. Um, yeah, look at him. He's just wasting it. Look at this unit. This unit's back here. Just, they're one of the elite units you have. Get them in here. And I'm fighting with a tower now. And the cavalry here has just been mopped up by the berserkers. And spear masters, and yeah, they're fighting archers. Never a good sign. I don't know if they're out of ammo. It's just elephants out here now. It's a problem, and they're nearly all dead. Sad sight. The general, get up there, man. I don't know if he's really got a plan for it. I don't know what. Imagine now if Arma, uh, the Ar Armenia still had his uh, general in Cav. Be devastating. 
It was well worked by Bactria, but I mean... Yeah, finally the general goes up. A little too late. A little too late. I personally think... I I mean... Unless he can chain route everything quickly. I don't think he can, though. Like, these archers about to break. He's about to get overwhelmed. Yeah, and... Ugh, the cav, I don't know what happened to it. It just evaporated. Like, this unit could have held... Um, might have been able to hold with some, uh, like, uh, charges from the rear. Like, they would have may have broken all this stuff. Here we go, the final defense by Bactria. It's not going to be enough. He really needed to send this up, like, two, three minutes ago. And here they go. They're going to mop up this unit of Swordmasters, but that's not a problem. That is not a problem. Here come the Berserkers in the back. Look at them. Yes, we're scary. You can wave our shields in the air. And here they go. They've killed that first unit. Now it's on to the Berserkers. Berserkers are going to hold for ages because they're Berserkers. But I mean, yeah, look at all the rest of this stuff. It'll just hold for a long, long time. It's all elite. It's all elite stuff. Swordmasters. Oathsworn. And they're going to surround them. Oh, why are they not surrounded? Well, I guess Bactria has kind of pushed out anyway. It doesn't really matter. But I would have just, just get him behind these guys, kill him even quicker. They are losing slightly. They're dying ever so slowly. 98 of them left. I don't think he's going to do it. He really needs that cavalry. The cavalry and he would have won this. Or elephants. Obviously, keep those elephants. But he did well with the elephants. He got a lot of kills. Got all those archers. Made it a lot easier and a lot closer. Well... Wasn't wasn't easy enough though, and there we go, a costly enemy victory, indeed. So the attackers won again. Defenders unable to hold them back. Six hundred thirty kills with those goddamn elephants. Wow, that was very good. Could have been more, I think, if he'd uh, managed to keep them alive, just uh, harass them as they came up the uh, for the final attack. And he needed to send his general in, like a lot earlier, um, to try and save that breach. Because after that, they were just able to flood in. Unfortunately, but yep, yeah, this was sent in by Aiden, who's playing as Bactria. Did very well with his elephants, as mentioned. His calf getting about 100 kills each, not too bad. His pikes getting 166, not too shabby. And his Bactrian Royal Guard just got overwhelmed. That's 50 kills each, not great. Um, his Thorax Swords getting 118 and 132, that's okay. The rest doing, oh, well, average. Um, Captain America 23 playing as Armenia. His general in Cav, I mean, just did nothing. It would probably be better just to bring more infantry. His um, Carly Axman did various, like, some of them did really well, like 123 kills, some getting as low as 12, and his spears. It just seemed to get overwhelmed in Armenia, unfortunately. It's a bit of a shame. Um, Swaby played by uh, David08 Drury. Um, his archers, 120 kills, very, very good. The rest got mown down by uh, elephants, it seemed. Um, his sword masking 180 kills 252 and 256 insane very very well done so they would just did very well his berserk is getting 89 and 85 it's not not bad but not great and then gary uh, th um who's playing as the arvani he his uh archers just got obliterated by <laughs> elephants as well i mean all the attackers that uh, archers did to be honest his chosen swords doing okay getting 185 kills the top one there his Oathsworn getting 266, the top one. Most, some of the other ones getting like 250 and 253, so excellent use of his Oathsworn. And then um, his Spear Nobles getting 155, the top one there. So that's also very, very good. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this battle. It was a very close one indeed. It was uh, well worth mentioning that it was. Um, came right down to the end. It's a shame that they had no cavalry, the defenders, just to like maybe clinch it for themselves. But if you enjoyed, then please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new around here. And I hope you guys are enjoying Siege Week and are staying safe and healthy. Um, and just do your bit. Basically, we're all in this together. And let's all just stay inside and do our thing. And until next time, Legionnaires.